happy hour art journal. It's my second happy hour art journal. And what I'm wanting, its intention, is to help you be more creative, to fit more creativity into your day. In the front here, there's information on art journals and some ideas on how to use the book. But there's also this timesheet. This is so that you can carve out as much creative time through your week as you can. But it might just be 10 minutes here, 5 minutes there. You might get in a little bit of a longer session. We all have busy lives. Hopefully, it adds up together <laughs> at the end of the week to at least add up to a happy hour. That's what I want from you. I think an hour of creativity is going to really be fabulous. So there's all sorts of different pages. These are all from my journals. I love how that actually looks like it's colored on there. And then on this side are drawings that I've done of all different uh, whimsical girls, uh, women and animals. Uh, all of the pages in the book have perforations here in the side, in the gutter pulls out perforation so that you can either color it outside of the book or once you've colored it or created with it, journaled on it you can give this to someone put it up on the wall and rebind them I've seen people do as well they've also got what type of paper because there are different paper types all throughout the book the bulk of the first half of the book has a coloring paper this is especially good for dry media such as colored pencils, pens, and I've really enjoyed using my palette pastels with them as well. Because the palette pastels are milled so finely, it does stick to this smooth paper. And you can use watercolor with it, just not lashings of water because the paper is not really made for watercolor. Uh, but you can use a little bit of it with it. Uh, some things might bleed through, you just need to check uh, as you go. But all of your usual dry media are going to work beautifully on this beautiful smooth paper. There's also a section of craft paper, which is a really nice mid flesh tone. So you've got a starting point for drawing people. You can make the skin lighter, darker, you can just add colour. I especially like using paint pens like my Storytime paint pens or the Paint Over pens and the Magic Wand coloured pencils or any coloured pencils. The next section has mixed media paper, which is a, still a smooth stock. So it's nice to draw on, add your embellishments to, but it's a little bit more robust. So you can add a little bit more of your different media. Of course, test before you go all in to see what bleeds through and if you're happy with that. The last section of papers is watercolour paper so that you can add uh, more water, you can let those watercolours flow and have lots of beautiful colourful fun. The last two papers are a very fine tissue paper so that you can tear this up and use it as a collage. These are pages from my journals. I love seeing them in here. And uh, there's all sorts of different techniques that you can do with those. And in the very last part of Whimsical and Wild is a page of stickers. So you can use these in the Happy Hour Art Journal or you can put them wherever you like. The reason that I created this particular book, The Girls with the Animals, was not show animals as pets or as something to be trained, but as uh, our equals, as something to be admired, to be looked after and to be cherished, uh, as a, an equal partnership of creatures that inhabit this amazing planet. And as I create in my copy of the book, of course, I will be videoing that and sharing those results with you as well. Whimsical and Wild is published by Soho Publishing and distributed by Sterling Books. You can find it at basically all fantastic bookstores and online bookstores. You can get signed copies from my website, janedavenport.com. Mm -hmm.